Please drink some. Be ho, be on. Chickens, man. Oh, some chickens, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to see what's going Like I ain't just been gone 16 months. You hear me? Like I ain't just been gone 16 months, man. Look like I've been out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right back on. And I'm finna go ice my mouth out. You know. Well, there be no. Hey, like I did get taller, I ain't gonna no spell out. Tall is a bitch in my bitch. Hey, I'm you like it on my gap. Them hoes be lagging on my gap, real tough. Oh yeah, that's a bit. <laughs> Do you love me? Do you trust me? See what's going on. What am I, I see you, kid. Yeah, man, I made it out there. They thought it was over for me. Say, y'all, uh, hold on, man. Let me play some music. Hey, you got my music in your phone, in your phone? You got the headshot on this? Hold on, man. Let me play some music. Yeah. 
a rapper accused of murder with a long list of prior arrests was able to post bond and leave. The district attorney is not happy about this breakdown in communication. Bess Casserly and the WBRC investigative unit sorting out how this happened. Well, Sylvia, Rashawn Alexander, known locally as rapper Hot Boy Do, has been in and out of jail for several years. Prosecutors thought his most recent arrest for murder would have kept him in jail until trial, but that didn't happen. This is video of Rashawn Alexander leaving the East Baton Rouge Parish Prison early Wednesday morning. The jail let him go. The problem is the district attorney says he wasn't supposed to be released. Uh, apparently he paid the commercial bond and no holes were reflected uh, at, at the prison for whatever reason. And he was able to bond out uh, like anyone else would have. The 21-year-old rapper has been in parish prison since March of 2023, waiting to stand trial on a charge of second-degree murder. Baton Rouge police arrested him then, accused of shooting and killing Nicholas Williams. At the time, Alexander was out on bond for other charges. On Tuesday, during a routine motion hearing, Judge Tarvald Smith found no probable cause for one of those charges involving possession of a firearm. For reasons still unclear, there was no longer documentation holding Alexander in jail, and the jail allowed him to post a $260,000 bond and leave. Despite the judge finding no probable cause on one case, they had multiple other cases, including murder, and that everyone understood that the hold was still in place on all of the other charges. District Attorney Hiller Moore says he's not sure where the breakdown in communication happened. When they left the hearing Tuesday, no one was under the impression that Alexander would be allowed to bond out. But I don't know where uh, any miscommunication could have happened, but uh, that's obviously what happened. Before police arrested Alexander on a charge of murder, the court ordered him to wear an ankle monitor. He has been in and out of jail for various charges, including misdemeanor domestic abuse and drug and gun possession. According to the monitoring company, Alexander wasn't taking his supervision seriously. We filed a uh, Article 66 subpoena because we continued to get notice that his battery was remaining low. And um, he continued to violate. He would go out of the state while on the ankle monitor. And we asked that his uh, bond be revoked. That was 18 months ago. And just three months later, in March of 2023, police picked him up on charges of possession of a firearm, driving a stolen vehicle, violating a protective order, and ultimately tied him to the murder, which police say is caught on camera. He's surely one that we've been keeping a close eye on. Uh, and his history proves that he deserves to be watched. Alexander's lawyer, Ryan Thompson, says his client has constitutional rights to a bond, and it appears he's being denied that right. Is he not an American citizen? Meaning, is he not innocent until proven guilty? Now, the mistake was noticed immediately, and the DA's office notified the judge, and the judge issued a new arrest warrant. Alexander turned himself in this morning and is back in custody tonight. I had a more in-depth conversation with Alexander's attorney over the phone, and you can read more about that on our website. Who you kill? You ain't built. Put some niggas up all that rap. I know you heard the six the gang release shit did all up the track. Got the city hot, these niggas drunk, so we ain't playing fair. I said the silly drop a beta bitch and blew one in the air. You get the right one, better cook correct, cause little bitch jump still. They want shooting in North Baton Rouge. Police say 35-year-old Nicholas Williams was found shot, de shot to death on Aliquippa Street Sunday night around 8 p.m. Right now, police do not have a suspect or a motive at this time. So if you have any information that may help police, you are urged to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 344-7867. In connection with a deadly shooting, Adler's police say he's facing charges in the death of 35-year-old Nicholas Williams. You may remember Williams was found shot to death along Aliquippa Street on the night of March 5th. Those charges he's facing should be being updated in the 9 News app as we speak. He's Do you got anybody in jail? We gonna beat the fuck out, and yeah. we gonna put them on record. We'll wet them up on live, and Make we sure gonna show you how this shit go. Yeah, we gonna beat the fuck out your people. We gonna wake them up on live, battle them, 
Yeah, yeah get on the gate. Nice. Time to go. Nice. Nigga put a soap sock on D Dog though. No, yeah, I lied. It was a brick. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's me. What about what? I need to go get my write up from D Dog. I'm how they read it on. Is it Had me on lockdown, got me with two aggravated batteries. <laughs> I ain't never ever get on them though, never thought about it. Yeah, they got two two more charges. Four thousand dollar bun on them too. Don't let me see you in person, bro. I'm shooting you shit. Real talk. I ain't gonna shoot them jokes too, bro. I ain't going to sleep. Keep up. What time? What time? What time? I said, what you mean, sheets? And he said, to tell me no sheets. What the fuck is sheets? Man, who y'all people so we can beat the fuck out of them? Y'all got somebody in on that ain't right, too? Don't lie with your brother, man. What y'all, what you? I love what y'all, you, bro. What y'all think the words hurt a nigga? Nigga got money. <laughs> y'all tripping, bitch. Man. Nigga fire a helicopter over this bitch and be gone. That's a difference. Y'all niggas broke out there, y'all. Nigga in jail, y'all still getting passed up. Hey, toe up. He said, thug and thug, y'all. Say the request, bro. Hey, what up, little brother? I 